Hey everybody, my name is Dan Demogorgas, and welcome back to Life is Strange. Last episode, we we finally got out of that whole... Now I should go check out the big board. Oh, the big board. We got out of that, that old memory of us at a younger age, and the whole reminiscing, and having to, to make a decision for Chloe to either overdose on the, the morphine we gave her, or just be like, nah, I ain't gonna do that to you. I have another plan. This close to finding Rachel. Chloe, you're on fire. And I think this is a better plan. Just going back in time with the picture. I guess you could take a photo of her. Oh, it's a tr ambient. Okay. Get a trophy for it. Let's see. Ooh. Yeah, I turned off the music because of, you know, copyright. I'll put it back on for, like, the non-copyrighted songs. So close, yet so far away. We have to do three main things. Right. Okay, okay what do we gotta uh, do? What things? One, decipher Frank's logbook. Two, get Nathan's phone to find out where he's been during the Vortex Club parties with Kate and Rachel. Okay. And see whatever hidden shit he's got in his messages. Three, beat Step Douche Dan until he tells us about Frank, Nathan, and the Dark Room. The Dark Room. I do have a gun now. Keep it in your pants. We'll have to do this on our own. Dude, at least let me kick his ass, then rewind. <sighs> Fine, whatevs. It's your power. Which I can't waste on shit like that. Or Blackwell would be in big trouble. You didn't even let me take that money to pay Frank off. And I'm glad. We have to be better than that. Yeah, I was not, I was not you for that. You should get busy in the garage to see what dirt you can We can't up. take the school's money. Some names we already stole their information. To who? And be careful. And that's what we step. really needed. He's not going to be a happy camper after you reamed him yesterday and mom is giving him the boot. I'm on it, partner. But that was just I my choice. I can't this level of my rewind power. It's way too dangerous, and I need to navigate the present without messing up the past. That's my Chloe. <laughs> the Bad Girl's Guide to Guns by Coffee Greer. That's my Chloe. Yeah, we're back. Oh, there's the gun. I still feel sketchy about giving Chloe the gun back. Well... That snow doe always makes me think of William and Chloe. It's her gun. Like, it belongs to her family. This butterfly photo seems like a million years ago. Oh, hell yeah. How much time have I altered since? I know since the beginning of this game, how much we've, like, changed everything. It's, it's incredible. Oh no. That poor little bird has been trapped in here. The bird? The, the fucking bird? What? What do I do with the bird? Get out of here. Am I supposed to let him out? Let me open that window. It's such a warm, beautiful day. How could a killer storm just pop up tomorrow? Are we supposed to let the bird out? This isn't going to kill him, right? This is or or it. Fly, be free. I don't know what that's about. But I'm gonna close it now. I don't know if that changes. If you left it open, the bird will return for more. Um. That's an option. Oh, that blue dye makes me so happy. It means the real Chloe. Yes, who's back? With me. Back again. Chloe's back. Tell love friend. Well, we don't. We gotta, we gotta turn off. Turn off the light, right? Or our lights like trust <laughs> Okay.
We'll put that music back on. What up, fam? You won this battle, Max. You broke up my family. I salute you. David, I didn't try to hurt you, ever. But I won't let anybody hurt Chloe. Too late, isn't it? You just better be damn careful with her. Don't you wander off into the dark. The fuck? Okay. You fucked yourself over, my boy. Looks like David already booked a room. Okay. Good. Oh my god. Okay, fine. I'll respond. What? what okay, what? 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 How am I supposed to read this? Okay. I don't know. Who is this? Warren, you're wounded. The B-minus burns. I wish I could have helped you. But I thought you were blinded by science. In this case, yes. My folks will shit. Yo, Max. Your friend Chloe texts me that I'm out of the loop now. She sounds hot, so I get why. Chloe actually texts you? I sure didn't have her number. I n now, now I get why you didn't want to go ape with me. You should go with Chloe. She looks cool enough for you. Okay. I have a lot of cool friends, like you. Yes, you do. Just my luck. And mine, I have to jet. Talk to you later. I hope so. I don't... The whole fucking situation with... With Warren is just so weird. Looks like they're back on the road to Paris. Hey, let's go to Paris. What we got? To think this all started with my vision of a tornado. Arcadia Bay Beacon. Eco-apocalypse now? While Arcadia Bay was until now considered a quaint fishing and tourist nook on the Oregon coast, the town that time forgot is, since the beginning of this week, in the literal eye of an environmental storm, starting with a freak snowfall, an unprecedented eclipse, dying birds, and now a half dozen beached whales, Arcadia Bay's strange weather is being studied by prominent state and national scientists. Apparently including NASA. That's why more incredible... What's even more incredible than these eco-phenomena is the fact that not a single meteorologist has offered any actual theory or even reason for this atmospheric havoc. Continued on next page. Oh. But that's all we get to read. Whoa. Looks like David finished his car repairs. Maybe there's some new clues around. I was trippy because since we last played, I thought this was Chloe's room, but this. That's so trippy. That room we were just in is now. This was. That's so cool. Should I have signed the petition? Blackwell sure isn't safe and private anymore. From Raymond Wells to David Madsen. Despite our rather heated discussion about the successful petition to block a campus surveillance system, I'm still interested in your feedback on other methods of improving Blackwell security. You must find a middle ground between safety and privacy for all students. Best, Principal Wells. Oh, meow, Miss Grant. Twist that knife. Oh. Michelle Grant to David Madsen. I didn't have a, I didn't need a surveillance camera to see this suspension coming. Best of luck for you, Mrs. Grant. Okay. He has one weird fan. 
anonymous to David Matson. Dear David or Mr. Matson, I just wanted to let you know I think it's bullshit what happened to you. And this school has too many libtard metrosexuals who don't appreciate you or the military. I felt safe in my dorm when you were in charge, and I thought about you protecting me. I hope you will come back to Blackwell and make sure we are all safe at night. I'm scared of this school. Wish I had surveillance footage of that who, conversation. Who, who is that? Alright, and then David's responding back to Raymond Wells. I apologize for my outburst yesterday in your office. I was upset about losing my position at Blackwell without a complete investigation of the facts and based solely on the claims of untrustworthy students. There is a cancer at Blackwell Academy, and without me, it will continue to spread. Sincerely, Madsen D. All right. Surveillance cameras at so Pan. We got an idea of what's going on. David must be working for the Prescotts too. Oh, he's got cameras at the Prescotts. He's working for the Prescotts. Well, that's already bad, but. Oh, jeez. David is packing up wedding stuff, too. Oh, that makes me sad. Squeak. It was so incredible to see William. Oh, Kleenex. Kleenex box. I wish Chloe could, too. Either Chloe stole another gun, or David is out there armed. I mean, probably both. What the hell did David do for Nathan? And what did his dad do for David? Mr. Madison, thank you for your help with Nathan. It is appreciated. Best, Sean Prescott. Mm -hmm. So the Prescotts and David Madison have something in common. There's more to David Madison than meets the eye. He should finish this letter to Joyce. Joyce. You know I'm not good at explaining myself, or why I act the way I do sometimes. I only know that nobody has ever understood me the way you do. I could never do anything to hurt you or Chloe. Taking care of my family is my number one mission. Yes, I overset bounds with the surveillance and suspicion, and I'm truly sorry and ashamed. But there are dark things happening in Arcadia Bay I have never told you. You're my wife and partner, and I know... We should have no secrets. I intended to tell you something, or everything, but I wanted some proof. Instead, a student committed suicide on my watch, you kicked me out of my favorite home, and my stepdaughter hates me. Please let me... dot dot dot. Nah, fuck... nah. You don't get to spy on your family for that. I wonder if David is going to the party. Probably. He's gonna survey it like a little creep. Whoa, that is a serious padlock on that locker. Hey, David, what you hiding? What you buying? I don't want to leave yet. All right, how do we open that fucking thing? Oh, well, that was okay. I can use that crowbar to pry open the locker. Hey, I'd rather it be pretty simple. Like, oh. That seems like the thing. Sorry, David, but I bet you would do the same thing as me. I gotta find I gotta find out what's going on. With Rachel? Oh Matt, with Kate? Notes, coordinates, photos of Kate, Nathan. Oh, yes. She knows something. Uh, okay. Someone's taking pictures of everything. I mean, we, we got some information, I don't know. Score. Back to Chloe now. Cool. Yo, Chloe! Chloe, let's... Are you ready yet? Yo, Chloe, come I over here! Are we happy? No, you come over here! 
I hit the secret file jackpot. Kate, Nathan, and Rachel. Plus some location coordinates. David is like a one-man surveillance army. Pretty much. Now let's get the hell out of here before we get busted. Now let's go find out what Nathan is hiding in his room. We have to be extra careful. Max, now it's time for Nathan Prescott to be afraid of us. Uh-oh. Let's do it. Uh, Principal Wells and Mr. Jefferson. Oh, this is the boy boys' dorm. Hold up, we didn't, boys. <laughs> Tiki. Hey, Max. How you doing? Oh. I mean, totem pole. <laughs> I'm okay. Um, and this is my friend, Chloe. Yeah. Chloe? Why isn't somebody as cool as you going to Blackwell? I was way too cool for this school. It's a long story. And actual files here. Too cool for school. Max, are you sure that you're all right? It's weird just being on campus like everything's normal. I know. Lame as it sounds, life has to go on. I think there's too much going on in my life. On Whoa. Blackwell duty calls. Remember, I'm going to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes contest tonight at the party. So I hope you'll be there to celebrate. Even though I'm sorry you didn't enter a photo. I understand yeah. the reasons. You can't force an artist to work. So you don't hate me for what I, I guess said so. to the principal? I'm proud of you for caring so much about a troubled friend. And I take hope in the fact that you have plenty of time to find your way. Just get in the habit of putting your work out there. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. I'll definitely be there tonight. Me too. I'll be Max's date. You better dance with us at least once. <laughs> Nobody should have to see me dance. Plus, oh, easy now. Watch the old hipster trying to keep up with the kids. I have some pride. Be seeing you. Yes, you will. Pot for teacher. Gross! You are Easy now. Control. Not yet. Just wait until the rager tonight. The rager, bruh. Don't be jealous because Mark Jefferson thinks I'm cool. I am so ignoring you. Fine. Since I'm here, I'll see if I can get some dirt from Justin. I haven't talked to him in a while. Now that is a great plan. Uh, I mean... Let's see if I can find out where Nathan is. What's up, bruh? <laughs> is it 420 yet, man? Yeah, bruh. It's been so long since I've seen you. Because you're way too cool for us now, Chloe. What you doing? It's Daniel. Poor Daniel. Looks like he needs a hug. Hey, Daniel. Daniel, what the fuck is wrong with you? Are you alright? Hola, Max. I just figured out that my photos basically suck. Aww. I don't want to be artist. I love your drawings. I'm not here to be a photographer. That's my gig. Look at that sketch you did of me. Incredible. And that's your art. Your gift. <sighs> I do feel better now. You are good, Max. Hmm. Kate? Have you talked to anybody about what happened with Kate? I don't talk to anybody, Max. <laughs> But, oh, I did actually have a conversation with Brooke. She was very sad about Kate. So am I. And angry. We should stop going to class and stage a protest. Uh, but that's not going to happen at Blackwell. I like his m'lady. Like Tip the fedora hat. The or shirt. Only if I can start the revolution from my sketchbook, Max. Okay. By the way, have you seen... What do you know about Nathan? You mean lately? Like... Anytime today? I saw Jefferson talking with Nathan a little while ago, but I try to stay out of his way. Yeah, man, do kickflip. Assholes to deal with here. What about the end of the world party? The world party tonight? 
It will be if I go, man. People here push me into lockers, not dance floors. Go to the party or don't go to the party? I mean, I'm going to the party. I think he should. Go to the party. That's exactly why you should go to that party. We have to stand up to these Blackwell bullies for Kate. You yeah, fuck him up. Wounded. Fuck the haters. Not with you to wreck me up, Max. Oh, damn it. I will go to the party like it is the end of the world. Okay, maybe I won't go, but... No, I won't do that, but... I'll go. Let's talk later. Okay, Daniel? Oh. That has consequences. No, he should go to the party. Why not? Am I gonna regret this? We'll find out. If I regret it later, we're gonna be like, what you doing? Why'd you do this? Whew. Good thing I didn't let Chloe take that money from Principal Wells. Oh. Okay. Lisa, why you play hard to get when you already hard to want? I mean, fair enough. My sweet. Kate. You will live in our hearts forever. Damn. I had to clear away another batch of dead birds today. Sad. Makes me mad. Climate change. Mrs. Is Grant bad. looks interested in whatever Samuel's saying. As a scientist, that's cool to see that Samuel's not alone for once. I'm very worried. Okay. Hi, Miss Grant. Max, you always show up when I'm talking about you. I'm still bragging about you and the other students making Blackwell surveillance for you. Oh, good. I'm glad we're we talking well. I was hoping you could explain some of these crazy things happening in Arcadia Bay. If I could, I'd be collecting my Nobel Prize in science today. I haven't been able to wrap my mind around that eclipse, much less the snow and whales. Yeah, the snow and the whales. What's your scientific there explanation? Must be a scientific explanation. Right. Right. When my friends at NASA tell me they can't explain a solar eclipse without a single theory as to how or why, maybe it's time to get worried. Oh. Like they are. I am worried about reality. I feel like yeah, it's NASA's changing like. Right mm. You and Samuel both. We were talking about that before you came over. Our planet is changing, but it's not mystic. It's erosion. Alright, what about what about prophecy? So, you don't think this could be some kind of prophecy or something? Max, you know how fascinated I am by Arcadia Bay legends. But I haven't found any apocalyptic signs yet. Unless you count those end of the world posters. Unless you know something <laughs> I don't. So what's Topang Topanga? What's Topanga? I wonder if the Tabanga knows more than anybody here. Oh Max, nobody even knows who brought the Tabanga here. It was likely stolen from the South Pacific by local fishermen. But I know what you're saying. Has a lot of energy here. I don't know what Tabanga was, but time travel. I was looking for me. I'm sure she'd be like, yeah, cool. Your class. I'm surprised, Max. I didn't think you and Nathan were exactly friends. No way. No way. I just have to uh, ask him a question. I saw him leaving campus looking angrier than usual. But Angrier than usual. Hasn't been too well lately. You might know more about that than me. Too much. I can tell. You look like you oh. have more than a question on your mind. Maybe asking Nathan isn't such a good idea right now. You hear me, Max? Oh. I don't think surveillance would have helped Kate Marsh. Oh, Max. I'm so sorry you had to go through that. Kate is the sweetest student I've ever met at Blackwell. And they can be so cruel to each other. Yeah. Do you need to talk to a counselor? No thanks. Uh, no, no thanks, Miss Grant. I have my best friend and my parents. For now. I'm happy to hear that, Max. Just don't ever be afraid to talk to somebody, okay? I mean, I, 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 I hear you. To me. I had no idea what she was going through. 
Kate was drugged at the Vortex Club party and bullied by them until yeah. she ended up on the roof. How do you stop that? Shut down that damn Vortex Club for a start. I don't mean to get riled up, but yeah. that party should have been postponed. It's extremely tasteless given what happened with Kate. So why doesn't Principal Wells What about Principal Wells? To be honest, he doesn't seem to care about what's going on. He doesn't care about anything. Raymond Wells has saved this school from financial disaster, and he can't Oh, so he, you know. Mr. Principal You're Wells wise. is Raymond. But don't be so quick to judge everybody. You're right. Fair enough. I, I just wish this could be the school that I dreamed about before I came here. I hear you, Max. I love seeing you and Warren and all my students at your best here. But you're all too young to be so cynical. But you truly give me hope. I'm sorry, Miss Grant. I, I have to get going. I I'll see you later. It's always good talking to you, Max. Good. Nathan is not around. I should go back to Chloe. Not to mention poor Kate Marsh. We all need to look out for each other these days. I'm gonna leave it off here. Thank you all so very much for watching. The playful philosopher quote of the day is is by doubting that we come to investigate and by investigating that we recognize the truth. Peter Aberlard. Abenard. And hey, that's what if we don't know, if we don't investigate, we ain't gonna know. We gotta look into it. And we we found all these pictures in David Madsen's locker. And now we're about to, you know, see what we can find about Nathan Prescott. Um I'll leave a playlist down below of Life is Strange. And also a playlist to Banjo Kazooie. And also a random video. And I will see you all in the next video. Later!